peaceful out here. It's really nice. Hi, welcome to Renovation Ranch. We're freaking back. Yeah, and it feels good. Welcome to the abandoned resort. I told you only like 1% of the information I have about this place in the last episode because it's just a lot and I didn't want it to be a 40 minute episode for our first one. So I am now standing in the middle of what was the Guadalupe River Ranch Resort. And today we're starting a renovation. And the question is where to start because it's 300 something acres with 40 or more buildings. I don't even know how many buildings there are. There's like 40 or more buildings out here, all in various stages of disrepair. Nothing is new. <laughs> I actually decided we're gonna start here. This house on their map is labeled the gatehouse. I wonder why. Yeah, but it's, it's the closest to the gate. That, that's why they named it that, I guess. Gate, gatehouse. Yep, makes sense. I actually have a ton of information about this property that was given to me by the sellers because there was another company that was interested in buying this property like a decade ago. And so they did tons of research, made all these reports about this place, and then decided that it doesn't make sense to buy it and they backed out. And 10 years later, I came along. And I'm not scared of a challenge. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. So why start here? It's be oh, I just got freaking iced on camera. It's because this house is the nicest house on the whole property. And that's not saying a lot. This one is technically livable. But I'm gonna go in and try to figure out what it needs to actually make it completely livable. But like there's cool stuff like this. Just like, you know, it's nothing much, but it's like someone cared about it at one point, put some stars on the concrete. This whole star flower bed over here is kind of neat. There's like a little raised rock patio right here. There used to be a tree growing on the other side of the building there. That's not an ideal location. Huh, let's go in. Saltillo tile. And what makes this place so good is rock walls and it has a metal roof. So water did not get in this place. Lights, is that a light? How do I turn? I think we're actually on an enclosed in patio right now. So you can see this is all wood and that's like exterior wall there, I think. Yeah, these are definitely some exterior door frames. Um, oh, look, see we got power in here. There is some like dog doo-doo or something on the floor, but that's fine. It's okay, does this work? Turn on. Oh yeah. So window unit AC, what is this? This is just a, this was a window that they blocked off. Oh yeah, there's one on the other side that they didn't block off. So still the exterior windows now on the interior of a building, but that's fine. This is a probably just closed in patio so you can make a little living area out here. It's a small little house, but it's got multiple rooms. This floor is cool. Rock is cool. It's real rippled and pretty neat stone. That is a heater. That is a gas heater inside the wall. Oh, the fan turned on. Oh, it's blowing hot air. Okay, cool. Oh, that smells terrible. Heater works. Wow, didn't see that coming. What about you? Do you work? No power. We'll see if this thing is broken or if it just doesn't have power. That's broken. So you get your bearings. That's the porch we walked into. Then it came into the second room. There is another room that is pretty much exactly the same. Does it have heaters and stuff? It's got a heater in the wall too. Dude, this house would be hot if you had those things cranked up. So two little rooms here. I don't know which would be a bedroom actually. And there's another little room here, which probably makes sense to be a little dining room because it's, you know, I got some nice windows here and it's right next to the kitchen. What's that? That's soot right next to a gas line. What would have been there? The stove's over there. I don't know. We got a fridge that I can hear running. It has lights. It is cold. Giddy up, partners. Does this work? I don't hear any clicking. Okay, let's not blow ourselves up today. Water is not on in the house. And then there's a tiny little bathroom with like a five foot eight door here. Cool. Cool. And the uh, bathroom leaves a little to be desired. But I think maybe you get a new toilet. What the heck? It's not even the right size toilet for the hole. Get a new toilet, clean out the bathtub. This could work. This could actually work. This thing's stubbed out for gas. I wonder if there used to be a heater back there as well. I mean, they got power all in these rock walls everywhere. It's pretty neat. 
Oh, what's that? That is an exhaust for like a cast iron wood burning stove. They probably went there. They were definitely worried about being cold in this house and it's so tiny with all these heaters and a cast iron stove. I'm pretty sure they would never be cold ever in this house. Ever, ever. But I am, this thing, this thing cooled down really well. So basically, you know, I sweep it up in here and then we are open for business. People can start booking and it'll be a functioning resort. No, my plan with this place, uh, for this building is to make it nice. And then this will be a place where YouTubers can come stay because I've already had a bunch of YouTubers wanting to help. They've been reaching out saying like, hey, I have an idea and I'd like to come out and make content out there and help. And they know we're gonna need all the help we can get, both in just working on this place, but also helping get eyes on this place. And so I thought it'd be really cool if we had a place on site that they could stay. And this place is perfect because it's right in the middle of everything here. It's right next to the burned down main lodge building and they can do everything they want from here. And so I think I wanna fix this place up, get some furniture in here. It won't need a whole lot, we need a toilet. We need to do some cleaning. Uh, probably put some brighter light bulbs in here and just clean it up. And then we are open for YouTubers to come stay on property whenever they want. So renovating an abandoned resort, part one is gonna be getting the gatehouse ready for YouTubers to come hang with me. Giddy up partners. So like a weird little post and patio back here and there's a dryer hookup and it said washer dryer on the uh, thing but I don't know where the water would go for a washer. There's no water coming in or drain leaving this room so I'm not sure about the whole washer setup. Where's water pouring out back here? Aha! Yep, there's a problem right there. A little baby pipe is busted. Oh yeah, I can feel a crack in the back of that. That's what we gotta fix first. That. Yeah, that's just the water going into the house. The hot water heater is back here. Gross. And this looks like a good place for mosquitoes to live. Yeah. Okay, fixing water pipes. Our first mission. I was going to fix it because I thought it was just half inch PVC pipe that was broken. So I bought everything I needed plus some extra stuff. But this thing, this pipe cracked all the way up it, which not a big deal, right? Except the crack goes all the way up into this junction where it ties into this metal. That crack goes all the way up into there. So even if I fix, yeah, yeah I just can't. I'm gonna have to get a new one of those to screw into the metal. If that is indicative of how anything is going to go on this entire abandoned resort project. It's gonna be a great series. Maintenance building. Why'd I even go to Home Depot? 
There's tons of pipes in here. That is almost what I need, but I need a female male, not a female female. You have to be in here, right? Come on. I will find you. It has to be here. There's so many little pipes everywhere, but they're strewn about. There's so much stuff to do. Like, I, get, I need to go through that. There's probably stuff in there. There's a billion hours of things to do, and while you do them, holy jeez, you want to make sure you don't fall through the floor. If you were the right size, I could make you work, but you're not. I just freaking bought these. <gasps> yes! That, what the heck? Son of a... Uh, it gets weirder the deeper you go into the maintenance shed. Okay, I'm done looking. I give up. Uh, I'll have to go to Home Depot. And I'll come back here to explore this another day, but I'm pretty sure what I need is not in here. And if it is, it's probably old and cracked anyway. Ugh. Real quick, a lot of you guys have been asking if you can come volunteer your time and help us out at the resort. And we actually need it right now because next week, Tuesday, May 30th, we are going to be cleaning out the burned down building. I'm trying to get all the trash, all the rubble, all the burned down wood and furniture pulled out so we have a nice clean floor and can walk around and really visualize and try to figure out what is salvageable as far as structure goes in that building. So. If you want to come, this is your chance. Uh, we're actually only picking 20 people because I think that's all I'll need to get that thing cleaned out in a single day. So we're picking 20 people. The way you enter is you need to email Jenna. It's Jenna at demolitionranch.com. It's linked in the description below. And you need to send her a video in the video, which has to be 20 seconds or less. If it's more than 20 seconds, she will not look at the video. We need a, we're going to get a bunch of these, so I need to make it not too hard for us to go through them. But 20 seconds or less, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us your name. Tell us where you live tell us what you do and then uh, give us your best joke and we're gonna pick 20 of you guys and get you out here next week so only uh, apply if you're close by it's not gonna be worth your time if you're out of state or something but I'd love to have you guys here we'll also have these things in the future so if you can't make it now don't worry we're gonna have bigger ones coming up in the future <laughs> You'll have plenty of opportunities to come out and work on the resort. Can't wait to meet you and you're gonna get really sweaty so Get ready for that. We'll provide you food and water and everything, but uh, you're providing a strong back and we're gonna use it. Fixed the pipe yesterday. Got the piece I needed, got it all hooked in. Um, and I didn't turn it on yet because I wanted it to dry, but I did buy myself a brand new tray. Look at this beauty. So I've got this big flatbed, which we've always used for everything. It's from Texas Pride and it's awesome, but it's super heavy duty. So we can put our Bobcat on here. We can load it down with uh, my freaking dually, we've had duallys on this thing, like the heaviest thing, this thing will handle it. But sometimes we need a trailer for like a lawnmower and it looks hilarious when we put a lawnmower on here and scoot it all the way and park it right there and that's all we carry. I was like, man, I need a light duty trailer. So I just bought like the lightest duty trailer. I bought this little bitty expanded metal five by eight. I think it's, it might be a five by seven trailer. It's tiny and looks great behind the Bronco. So, I actually am gonna go out there now, out to the resort. Ugh, can I do this with one hand? Oh, I'm pulling uphill. Got it, come on. Okay, I cannot do it with one hand. But we're gonna head to the resort. And I need a bigger drop. That's a four inch drop, but it's still, this Bronco's tall. And I wanna do a little bit of yard work just cause I'm tired of walking through all the weeds out there and no one's done yard work out there in a long time. So I'm going to take my mower out to the purple door house and knock some weeds down and test to see if we have water in the house now. That ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, like a glove. I think I'm actually going to back it in. I want more weight up in the front. Like a backwards glove. Dude, this is so much better. Okay, yeah, you can see we, we have a four inch drop. We probably need a seven inch drop to make that not lean, but perfect. All right, to the ranch, let's do some work. All right, we're turning the water on. Let's see, look at my awesome fix job here. There's no leaking, but I hear leaking. Go inside. Uh. Oh. Turn it off! There's your problem right there. 
There might be black mold in this house. Why does it have to be black? That's true, I shouldn't have specified. I don't see color, there might be mold. Let's just mow, we can't mess that up. Distracted. I want to see that bunny. I think it was a bunny. Something took off. What if it's not a bunny? It's like a rattlesnake and just attacks me. Oh, look at it. Look how cute he is. Okay, let's mow the bunny's house down. Back to mowing. I did a donut. Well, I tried. I think it looks like a five-star resort now. Anyway, website's open. You guys start booking now. It'll be great. Uh, there's no water. Well, there's water, but it's in a puddle under the sink. The yard looks great. The house is basically move-in ready. <laughs> now, we gotta work a little bit more, a lot more on plumbing. Um, I'm gonna try to get the second AC working, and then I'm gonna go buy some just pretty basic furniture. Honestly, aren't sure if this one's worth putting much money into because it's it's kind of just rotten everywhere. It's a weird little house. It's like an actual house right in the middle of the resort. So this one may not be one we put any money into. So I'm just gonna try to put minimal money into it, get it good enough that someone could live in it for a couple days. And uh, yeah, YouTubers can start coming and hanging out. I've already had several people reach out wanting to come out and uh, they already saw stuff that they were like, I want to work on that. So I think it's gonna be really cool. Just gotta, you know, get it right. Thank you guys for watching. Part one of renovating abandoned resort. Uh, should we do part two out at the, the chainsaw area? All right, part two is gonna be totally different. We've been chainsawing some stuff off camera and I haven't told you what we're doing with an entire 100 acres in the back. So that's coming up soon. Thanks for watching this episode of Renovation Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Get off my property. <laughs>